those who just uh, cultivate not that long, sometimes they will have that type of knowledge to say that they have to be more loving, more compassionate. Then that one is actually to the thought they develop. Like they pity people, they have uh, this feeling of compassion, wants to help wants to like radiate love, metal, the thing. So that one, you have to be careful. If it's from the thought one, then there is using knowledge with some form of Dhamma understanding, trying to create that type of mind state. But the real one is, it come out naturally. Uh, you also don't know why it's like that. And that is good. Means from that nature, through the understanding of Dhamma, it can manifest that way. Because you will go through that phase on that loving kindness, that compassion, especially the metta. I remember during the early days, my metta was very strong. I just read it, read it, read it. And that metta energy is very strong. Then there is compassion for the world, for living beings and all things. And later on, there is also this understanding, the unconditioned understanding, the what they call Diamond Sutta and the, uh, the Six Patriarch Platform Sutta's understanding of the unconditioned start to send, set in. Then that understanding again move to another level. It's like no mark. No mark of a spell of cultivating, no mark of others, and then no mark of life, no mark of existence, no mark of number. So that unconditioned wisdom, when it sets it, <coughs> it is very different. Then you realize this initial cultivation type of compassion, love, and whatever, this one that flow earlier on, it has reached a stage where the equanimity takes over. When the equanimity takes over, then it no longer uh, can manifest that type of very strong. Uh, but joy can still be there. Joy can still be very strong. But what I try to explain to you is, even though there is no real being in the world, no one born, no one dies, no one sick. So that love, that compassion, is where you are still doing the initial cultivation, that thing will manifest. We are out of love for the living being. You vow to your Bodhisattva vow to take them across them. So initially, you will have all this. But later on, you realize you need the unconditioned wisdom to go beyond all this uh, emotion, entanglement, and all those things. So there is a very thin line where you have to tread so that you are not caught in the duality. Because the duality is where the conditioned world Dhamma is. In the conditioned world, duality exists. And duality can actually delude living beings. Because they tend to attach and cling to duality. But to be able to transcend duality, you need the unconditioned Dhamma. The unconditioned Dhamma can make you go beyond duality. But the condition that Ma has is reality, has is true. That's why you have to walk that thin line, that track. So cultivation demands understanding of the unconditioned and the condition. So this phase you are going through is very good. You let the love, the compassion, the whatever, later on even gratitude, everything will arise. Let it arise. Uh, then later on, after you pass through this phase, then when you move on to the Bodhisattva way, when you understand the Mayana teaching very deeply, especially the Noma, Noma of a cell, Noma of others, Noma of life, existence, and all that, then you realize everything is empty, cold, no reality. And then during that time, you have less of this even very positive emotion like compassion, loving kind of this thing like uh, no more like before already. It cannot take you to that 
that level. But when you go through the cultivation in the initial stage, that one can still manifest. That's why it manifests for me to see. And at that time, my mind was very beautiful, very beautiful. Uh, but later on, as it go beyond and went into the unconditioned understanding, then that understanding bring for equanimity. Uh, you know what is equanimity, huh? Ping Teng Sing. So that one transcend duality. Then all this, uh, even very positive, loving kindness, compassion, the emotion, they will cease. So this is to prepare you. Uh, but don't hold on to this idea or thinking of what I share. Let it happen by itself. So whatever you go through, rejoice uh, and let it flow out. Let it unfold. Uh, the love, the compassion. Then you will learn from it. Then you will continue to develop it. Then it will actually move you. Uh, then at certain stage, it may even <coughs> let you have the understanding of uh, you will try to go vegetarian and all those things. Uh, let it happen when it arises. Then find out for yourself whether your physical body, this life, come, the DNA is suitable or not. Uh, if it's suitable, go ahead. If there is understanding that you can go vegetarian, why not? Go ahead. Uh, so it's up to you. Uh, okay? So, uh, Okay, sadhu, Brazil. Uh, sadhu, sadhu.